Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who sees this video. Today is Monday, April the 13th, and it's 8.38 p.m. Now, um, I have been praying about the video that I put up uh, about the president not being the president anymore. Well, I got a link in my description. Uh, sorry, uh, I got a link in my um, email to go to actually Steve Fletcher. Which someone in the comments said he's one of those, you know, you can't believe and blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, this is not something he came up with. You know, it's not another rapture date. He's just sharing an article. So I clicked on the link in his description box to go straight to the article. And I want to read this to you. And then I want to share uh, some scripture that I understand now about Jimmy Carter and why he's the first of the seven kings spoken of in Revelation chapter 17. All right. The source is called avoidthemark.com. So it's probably somebody's blog, but here's what they found. This was dated April 12th, 10.37 a.m. Central Standard Time. So if today is the 13th, this would have been Sunday, yesterday. And so it starts off with yesterday, which means April 11th. The state of Wyoming became the 50th and final state to declare a state of emergency. Now that should be easy enough to look up. This is the first time in U.S. history that all 50 states have declared a state of emergency. This invokes the full powers of executive order 12148 signed by Jimmy Carter in 1979. Now, just pausing here for a second. Someone asked the other day, who are the seven who are the seven kings? Oh, it's my friend. I was trying to explain to her that Obama was going to be the eighth king and the, that the that the antichrist is the eighth king and is of the seven and she asked me well who who are the who are the seven kings i said they're the last seven presidents and she wanted to know um and i told her i thought that jimmy carter was the first one but i wasn't sure and I was trying to remember why, why, why would he, or I was th thinking to myself after she left, I was thinking to myself, why would the seven kings start with Jimmy Carter? Why would it not say he is the 40... Uh, sixth king and is of the 45. You know what I'm saying? All right. This executive order, listen to this, what this order he signed has done. This executive order revokes presidential power in a time when all 50 states are in a state of emergency and transfers power from the President of the United States to FEMA Director Pete Gaynor. Now, I don't know if it's going to be uh, temporary or what. Let's continue reading. 
it says read full executive order 12148. Well, I guess you can click on that. And I will put the link in the description box. He, he, it, goes, it goes on to say, Here are some detailed overall FEMA plans and powers published by the National Liberty Alliance for your reference. Oh, and just for my own FYI, I looked up all the... Uh, I was trying to find who were the last seven presidents and I got all 50. So I had to go to Donald Trump, who's the seventh king, who was only supposed to remain but a little while, and counted back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It starts with Jimmy Carter, James Earl Carter, then Ronald Reagan, George Bush, that would be, you know, the older one, William Clinton, George W. Bush, Barack H. Obama, and Donald J. Trump. Okay, so I just wanted to look that up, and now I understand why Carter was the first of seven. Oh my goodness, I thought he was a terrible president. I mean... People said he was too good to be president. <sighs> anyway, uh, here is some things that detailed overall FEMA plans and powers published by the National Liberty Alliance, which you can click on for your own research for your reference. What exactly is the mark of the beast? Let's click on that one. The mark of the beast isn't what you think. Trump, QAnon, and St. Germain, and COVID-19, beast system revealed. How to avoid the mark of the beast. All right, let's see what they say. Please note, material is not associated with or published by the probably Alexandra YouTube channel. What? Let me start over. Please note, material is not associated with or published by the probably Alexandra YouTube channel. That's all in red, so it must be a link. And is used with her permission. So how can it not be associated with her if she didn't put it up on her channel and is used with her permission? Okay. It says, we need to talk about the mark of the beast. While there are countless ideas and opinions about exactly what the mark is, not in my mind. I know what it is. This is mine, and I stand behind it. All right, this is the sky's opinion. It's vitally important right now during the COVID-19 scare and beyond to be vigilant. The statistics simply don't add up to a worldwide lockdown that we're currently under. I know, right? The flu kills more people than the COVID-19 has been, and a whole bunch of other things do. In this article, I'll show you exactly how I came to a specific conclusion about the ominous mark of the beast and how it plays into our current worldwide events. Disclaimer, the mark of the beast is not an RFID chip implant. Well, then what can you put into the right hand or on? Okay, here they're quoting Revelation 13 and 14. Verse 16 of Revelation 13 says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads 
17, and that no man might buy or sell except for him that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. It is the number of a man. Okay, they found a few men that, whose names fit that, including Barack Hussein Obama. Note that in Scripture, your right hand represents your works and deeds, and your forehead represents your thoughts and will. Okay, this is this dude's opinion on what the mark is, and that is not right. you you got to have something tangible. To be able to buy or sell. Anyway. So see. This says you cannot catch a virus. Well. Th that's what some others were saying. So this. See this is his. This part here is, is opinion. But let's stick to the facts that Jimmy Carter signed an executive order 12148 and you can read it here and here are some detailed overall FEMA plans and powers and you can read those forget the guy's opinions the mark of the beast is going to be an implantable chip the little digital chip that's going to contain all your information, your banking information, um, your health care information, your address, your phone number, everything. I, I still don't know how they're going to pull that off, but I'm sure they have it all figured out. So here we go. This is... And it's showing the FEMA director here. Now, I'm going to move on to reading Revelation 17. All right. The Doom of Babylon. Revelation 17.1. And I am in the NASB if you want to join me. Then one of the seven angels. Now, we're you know, God is in control now. All right. The Great Tribulation is going on now. By this point, one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and spoke with me, saying, Come here, I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth committed acts of immorality, and those who dwell on the earth were made drunk with the wine of her immorality. See, I always thought it was Rome. Rome sits on seven hills. And Steve Denoon was teaching it was Jerusalem that sits on seven peaks. And uh, I had never heard that before. But then I saw different teachings on how, no, this is America. Okay. And New York City is basically on seven hills. I didn't know that. So, verse 3. And he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness. And I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast. Full of blasphemous names. Having seven heads and ten horns. Okay, so... Some people have said the seven heads are seven, the seven continents, but divided into ten kingdoms. Anyway, that, uh, the exact, uh, what would you say, um, 
meaning of that, I'm not sure of. But that's what I've heard. There's seven heads and ten horns. The woman was clothed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and precious stones. See, that's why people think, oh, Catholic Church, the Vatican. Those, those archbishops wear scarlet and purple, okay? And have precious stones and pearls. Well, I don't know about pearls. See, the, this sounds more like New York City to me. Having in her hand a gold cup full of abominations and of the unclean things of her immorality. We all know our country, as well as a lot of others, are just full of immorality now. And on her forehead a name was written, a mystery. Quote, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and of the abominations of the earth. Unquote. The mother of harlots and of the abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the witnesses of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered greatly. And the angel said to me, Why do you wonder? I will tell you the mystery of the woman. And of the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and the ten horns. So a beast is carrying this woman. Now, what I said in that video the other day was that the basically... The world is already being run by the Roman Catholic Church because Satan sits there. That's his place on earth in the Vatican. I believe it. The, that hideous work of art and knowing what they do in that sub-basement, they sacrifice babies, the Illuminati meets there for a I don't know, probably for all their um, solstices and, the, you know, every quarter. Then they have Halloween and they have Catholic uh, uh, Christmas Eve, Midnight Mass. Okay, that's, that's celebrated like Satanists would. Okay, and people say, well, how do you know that? Well... If, if you look up Tom Horn and Chris Putman, they have a book out, Exo Vaticanus, I believe it's called. They're the ones who've done all the research and people before them. They researched it for years, and so they're the experts on that. Tom Horn and Chris Putman, who has since passed away, of the two men... If you thought one of them was going to die of anything, you'd think it was Tom Horn. No, Chris Putman, 50, 53, something like that. Looked like he was in perfect health to me. Anyway, moving on. The beast that you saw was and is not and is about to come up out of the abyss. And go to destruction, the abyss. The beast that you saw was and is not and is about to come up out of the abyss and go to destruction. And those who dwell on the earth, whose name had not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, will wonder... When they see the beast that he was and is not and will come.
Here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. Again, that's why I thought it was Rome. And they are seven kings. Five have fallen. One is... The other has not yet come, and when he comes, he must remain a little while. A little while. He must remain a little while. The beast which was and is not is himself also an eighth, and is one of the seven, and he goes to destruction. Yeah, he'd be thrown into the lake of fire when Jesus turns. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have not yet received a kingdom. But they receive authority as kings with the beast for one hour. Well, that's probably one year or one month. One hour... The Lord said, a day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as a day. So what is an hour? Maybe someone could figure that out if you're real mathematical. These have one purpose, and they give their power and authority to the beast. Now, there's a beast system, and then there is the beast, which is the Antichrist. Okay, I mainly wanted to read that to show you about the seven kings. I don't know why it's written. The six are, um, this, uh, and they are seven kings. Five have fallen. One is, as if one is, is would be Obama. The other has not yet come. When he comes, he must remain a little while. That would be the seventh one. Or Mr. Trump. And then the beast which was and is not is himself also an eighth. This is my understanding based on a lot of people, I've uh, preachers that I've watched. But, you know, I take everything... Um, um, with a grain of salt anymore from preachers because I know they've been educated at seminaries that are now run, have been probably for several hundred years, hundreds and hundreds of years, by the Jesuits. So each different kind of seminary, they're being taught wrong things. So that no church is in unity. Okay? And they don't want them to have all the truth. They don't want the men coming out, or women, coming out of the seminaries, going into a church and teaching all the truth. So that's why when somebody here asked me, well, who do you follow for your teaching? I said, God, the Holy Spirit. I said that he's my teacher because I I don't listen to any one man and take everything he says as as a gospel truth. And she was just like, you know, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so now we have. That information that Steve got last week, did they know ahead of time that uh, this Wyoming was going to declare a state of emergency? Did the source know ahead of time that they'd been bought off? Into because they were all we're like we're not doing that we're not declaring that we're not going to do that to our people. 
So why did they do it? Someone could look that up for me. Those of you who are good at research, find out why Wyoming caved all of a sudden. Anyway, I'm done. I'm putting the link. I'm going to grab the link right now so I don't forget. And I'm going to... This is the answer to my prayer. I've been praying and fasting, saying, Lord, I need to know. It, and it doesn't say, and that's not saying Mr. Trump was a bad man or a good man, now is it? It's just saying that because of what Jimmy Carter signed way back in 1979, when all 50 states have declared a state of emergency, the powers automatically go to FEMA. Don't you know that was all set up? It's all part of the New World Order plan. This should make us excited. Things are wrapping up. Jesus is coming soon for his bride, for his for the Philadelphia church is how I want to start putting it because I know it's more than the bride. It is our blessed hope. The Harpazo is spoken of in so many places and Paul calls it our blessed hope. But I think when he was talking about that, he really was referring to the majority going in the second rapture. And I don't have time to get into that. I don't have the scriptures pulled up. But the first rapture is not going to be the majority of the church. It's a small portion, the remnant. Those who have been loving him most, loving their neighbor as yourself, repenting of their sins, Walking daily with the Lord, loving Him like He wants, you're seeking Him, you're seeking the gifts, you're just wanting Him more and more and more of Him, more than you want the world. We live in the world, we can't help but have needs, shelter, clothing, food. Uh, transportation if you're going to work. You know what I'm saying. Uh, we, so we can't help but want the needs. And anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm ending this here. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, my internet connection. Y'all, I'm convinced more than ever that Wi-Fi has killed my dog. He was fine in September. Except for his little arm was hurt from jumping on the furniture. I saw the x-rays. I got them emailed to me. I passed them on to the vet he's going to Friday. And he'll no longer be with us. If the vet agrees. Anyway, I didn't even mean to say that. He can't walk at all. I think he's ate up with it. Hey, baby. He knows I'm talking about him. Okay, so I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you as well. And all of your devices. Please remember to cut your Wi-Fi off when you're done with it. Don't go to bed with it on. Or if you're doing other things and you can do without it for a while, turn it off. And um, may God bless each and every one of you keep you well. I pray every night that God will cover you with his precious blood. That Jesus, that you will be covered in the precious blood of Jesus and so much more than that. So I've got to go now so I can start doing that. Okay. Well, Jesus answered my prayer by showing me this article. It is true. The powers have gone to the FEMA director. I suggest if you don't want to believe it, you at least read this. 
Okay, find the link in the description box. If you want it and you can't read the description box, you let me know and I'll put it in a comment. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.